Uh, says, hi, Nick, big fan. Uh, thanks for your time and expertise. Uh, is it worth halting or deferring purchases in dollar cost averaging around cycle top periods, or would you continue to do so whilst, take, whilst taking profits? He says, I'm still a crypto noob in the spot market, but I'm looking to take, uh, make the change to the next cycle uh, when I'm more prepared, hence attending your seminar now as an educational piece. And he wants to know if you have any recommended reading and that would probably kind of go into like, if someone's new to the market, they want to do education, they want to like re do research, like what are the, like, the best educational resources out there for them? For sure. Uh, Ryan asked a, a phenomenal question. Uh, now there is some things I can't talk about that I would love to share, but I can't because we like to keep things behind the scenes while we're working on it. And uh, we like to we like to talk about something when we've done it, in this case, when it's delivered. Um, but long story short, to your, your question, Ryan, in this case, uh, you're definitely right. If you were to know how to generally, not time the exact top, right? You don't need to do that. But generally know when you're like a couple days, couple weeks, and maybe even a month away from setting a cycle top, two months away, uh, even with that wide time frame, you would benefit greatly in this case dollar cost averaging, uh, and then not averaging it, in this case, the top waiting for a discounted range. So we're, we're exploring some ways to actually improve upon DCA, uh, you know, dollar cost averaging that again, I can't talk about, but uh, some ways where hopefully you won't have the time to top in this case, that's something we're looking forward to. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, it, you know, it, it's up to each their own in this case. Um, with get paid in crypto, you can terminate get paid in crypto anytime you want. Uh, you have to contact your employer. It's not something we can do because it's the payroll flow from your job. So we help generate an email template to cancel it in this case. It's dependent on your employer, effectively changing that in their payroll uh, or your uh, HR department at your company, whoever you communicate with, or maybe you implement it in your self-serve solution if uh, you have automated payroll. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's basically uh, something that you can consider. And then you would wait for uh, prices to go down, um, you know, towards the bear market. And in that meantime, you could save up cash in this case, buying on discount, right? That's something you can do. Uh, the one thing I'll say though, is that it's not always easy to know uh, when that top is or when that bottom is going to be, unless you really get into the data science. Um, I would say one resource, I know I'm a bit biased. I'm not trying to just shamelessly promote myself, but we talk a lot about the cycle analysis on Data Dash. So there's a lot of great free content there. Um, but I would look into the, the basket of tools that we utilize. Uh, look into Bitcoin.com. It's a great data science um, a metric platform where you can see a lot of different data science models and find out if we're overextended in the cycle or, um, uh, you know, at a discount. And then what I would say as well, you know, finding bottoms in crypto markets are pretty simple. Um, you know, if, if they're down about 80, uh, you know, 70 percent, that's the period of time where I'd start averaging in because you're getting close to that 80 percent figure. So, um, those are just some, some quick tidbits or thoughts that I, I could share. But again, I don't feel the need to overtrade, but if, if you do the due diligence, you can definitely do it. I wouldn't discourage people from it. So 